Hi and welcome back to SQL Server Denali always on NextGen HDR solution. We will be talking today about video 4 which is configuring a two node failover cluster and last three videos we uh, worked up to preparing the failover cluster. So let's see what we have in this video. Uh, we already configured domain control so in this video we will be configuring VM2 and VM3 into a one cluster um, the cluster IP would be 11.1.1.25 cluster name would be always on CLS the domain user for this configuration will be doc.com slash CLS let's start so I am on node 1 right now let's see First, you have to check the network card to make sure that there are no DHCP network cards are there. Go ahead and disable all DHCP addresses you have. So I have two domain NIC and RDP. These two are static addresses. Now let's connect to machine 2 and do the same thing. While I'm on node 2, I'll go ahead and make sure that no DSCP network card is enabled. Alright, so now on both nodes, static network is only open. So we'll start server manager to start configuring cluster. Cluster. I say validator configuration. I added both nodes. I would like for the first time run all the tests click next some of the improvement in Windows 2008 and R2 onwards on failover cluster is that uh, you do not need any shared storage anymore um, no need to worry about uh, buying a compliant hardware for Windows clusters uh, you can buy any hardware you like and then as long as the validate configuration wizard which we are running is successful you do get Microsoft support another important thing to note is uh, the in terms of network only one NIC is needed uh, which is domain NIC uh, the necessity of having a heartbeat is not required anymore so cluster validation report is completed let's click on view report getting warning on storage and network storage is expected since we do not have any shared storage in terms of warning validate IP config let's go and look for the yellow color all right I'm getting a message that the default gateway is not configured which is fine we can ignore it we are that means we are good to configure the cluster Let's click on create a cluster. So 12 is my RDP NIC. I don't want to use that. Uh, we already discussed we'll be using 15, sorry, 25 as the IP address. always on cluster is the name let's continue the cluster is clustering is very much simplified in Windows 2008 onwards all this validation wizard does help a lot in configuring things better 
All right, we are looking good. If you want, you can go to the cluster network and probably would like to give it a good name like domain domain nick. So that way later you configure some service, you can use it better. Today we have configured the NIC. Now if you want, you can go ahead and enable the networks, which we disabled before. Up to the same on the other machine and we are good for this video. I'll see you in next video where we'll install SQL Server Denali as a standalone instance. I'll see you in next video where we'll install SQL Server Denali as a standalone instance. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.